make a chair. So today I'm using this palette to create a smoky eye look, which looks like this. Um, a lot of you have been asking if I would do a look like this. Um, if you don't have this palette, then read the in the description box because I'm giving away one. Um, so I really hope you enjoy this look and do this smoky look a little bit on the face and I just use a nude lipstick um, then on my lips. So I really hope you enjoy this and just keep watching. To get started you want to make sure that you have something for your um, eyeshadow to stick to so I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Um, eyelid primer. Next we are going to be taking our first shade which is going to be this one right here. It's quite a light um, kind of silver shade. Just all over the lid. You only need a small amount because this goes really far so I'm just going to press it onto the lid. You can take a little bit and just place it right underneath here like this. Next you're going to take your darker shade and you can keep your eyes open for this. So you're going to take the darker shade in the palette which is this black with a lot of sparkle in it. It has too much sparkle almost. So just tap it off and, and the glitter actually falls because it's quite heavy. So just tap that off. So now we're going to hit upwards and we're just going to put a very small amount of this black. My brush is slightly damp and we're just pushing this into the crease but remember you don't want it to come outside here. So just keep it nice and in here and working up. Once you have a small amount on there you can either take your ring finger or you can take a fluffy brush and you just want to blend that colour. So just keep blending until you get a nice soft, smoky line. Remember to keep that imaginary line free so everything down here has to be clear of any colour. You're going to take that same flat brush, you're going to keep with that black colour and you're just going to work it on the outer part of the lid, working it in and joining up with that smoky colour in the crease. But you don't want to come in here because this is where we're going to be placing the purple. Then you're also going to take this right underneath here, right underneath the eye. You're going to go about half ways along, or maybe a little bit over half. And then I'm going to just take a little bit more, tap it off, and then slightly push it onto my waterline. So it's going to be like our liner. So we have it all in one, and you don't have to get in the liner as well. I'm only doing this on the outer half, and then I'm just going to blend it in like that. We have our basic shape there and now we're going to go in and we're going to use the purple. So now we're using the purple and this is what's going to give the whole look, um, that purpley look. So we take a little bit of the purple onto a flat damp brush and we're just going to push this starting at the lash line right onto the centre of the lid. This is what I refer to as the fun colour and I usually do this last so whatever kind of fun colour it is it usually goes last. Just blend that outer corner, I mean that inner corner. Just making sure it blends with that nice silver. Next you're going to curl your eyelashes. And add plenty of mascara. I'm going to be using the um, Sexy Curve Mascara by Rimmel. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush down first very gently. And then I'm just going to start working up. I'm going to put about two layers on, so put one full layer on leave it set, leave it dry, and then go in with the second one. Okay, so to finish off the look, I'm going to take my bronzer, and I've done a little bit of clean up because there's a little bit of fallout underneath, and then I powdered, so I'm just going to apply my bronzer now, getting right underneath the cheekbones to add some definition to the face. I'm going to go up along here as well, because I have kind of a high forehead. Now I'm going to take my highlighter, I'm going to be using this new one that I picked up. This is the multicolor um, Catrice highlighter. Looks like these. I'm going to take the bottom half of it, smile, and then just get the top of the cheeks. Take my blush. A lot of you were saying that this was quite nice on me before, so I thought I would use it again. This is flushed, and it's by that there. Take a little bit of this and push this over a little bit much and just blend away. And then onto the lips, I just took a nude lipstick and just put that on the lips. And that is the finished look. My hair is kind of 
bit weird, but there you go. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed this look, and if you want to win one of these palettes, just check out the box below, and um, you'll see when it ends and when it finishes and all that kind of stuff and the information that you might need. And uh, so I really hope you enjoy this. Um, I'm Shady Kitty. Thanks for watching.